Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to our channel. Some hours ago, uh, the presidency had gone into a closed-door meeting with service chief, after which, hours after, after the meeting, they came all out revitalized, assuring the uh, Nigerians and Southeasterners they are definitely going to bring uh, tranquility and peace in the land of Southeast. But in the moment, we're going to you know, share with you what um, the security chiefs or the security personnel have to say with the tra what transpired between them and ESN just some few hours ago. Like you subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. If you see a bell notification icon, please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on YouTube. Don't forget that, you know, some weeks ago, uh, a consul, yeah, a consul was um, killed. And um, a whole lot of things went down. Uh, Mazen Kanu acknowledged that he actually went down. And it was not long, I think it was not even up to a week, there was a replacement, a new commander. As we speak, the army had arrested a 48 years old Awurum Eze, a native of Umuneke Nta, in the Isia Lambano local government area of Imo State. Mm. The Nigerian army has said it has arrested the second in command to the neutralized commander of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, and the Eastern Security Network, ESN, in Aba town in Abia State during the raid. But the army arrested this 48 years old Awurum Eze, a native of Umone Kenta in Isia Lamba, no local government area of Imo State. He's from Imo State, but he was arrested in Aba. The director of army public relations in a release said Eze had escaped from his village on May 4th when the operatives of intelligence response team, that's IRT, stormed his village house in Isia Lambano, where he was hiding. He said, the second in command to the neutralized IPOB ESN leader Ikonso Awurumeze had been arrested by security operatives in Aba, Abia State. Hmm. The 48 years old Awurum as a native of Umunede, who escaped, had on the 4th of May escaped when operative of intelligence response team Aruti stormed the village in Isa Lamba, where he was had an intensive manhunt was there after launch towards tracing and arresting him. He was eventually apprehended on Wednesday, May 12, 2021, in Aba after weeks of unrelenting follow-ups by operatives. Awurum Eze is one of the main sponsors of the numerous taking down killings in Imo State and has been on the wanted list of security agents for more than three months. Many of the arrested IPOB ESN members had earlier mentioned him as their key sponsor, mastermind and second in command to the late Ikonso. Ha, this is serious. So. But let's continue anyway. They were According to them, amongst other leaders in Imo State, only in Consul and Awarum have direct communication link with Nam De Kano. He can be seen in several photographs posting so, okay, several photographs posing with the leader Nam De Kano. Investigation by the combined team of security operatives continue. Let us feel the post of Nigerians right now. Social media is agog. Everybody is talking. What is going on? How, how, how did this whole thing happen? I'm going to read through some of these comments uncensored so we can have a fair knowledge of what these guys are saying because this Twitter is actually agog over this matter. This one here is saying, so they can actually catch all these people. How come they've not been able to capture any Boko Haram member. This one here is saying, nothing can shock me again about this Buhari APC government. This one here is saying, they are scared and they have a tendency to repent, so no need. This one here is saying, which intelligence told the army that this man here was Ikonso's second in command? After Ikonso, there is a new commander. Can the man you arrested still be working under a console when there is a new commander this one here is saying the nigerian army when it comes to the south grow muscles okay this one here is saying 
Okay, congratulations. So here's a congratulations to Nigerian Army. They are definitely heading heading the expected end. Nigerian government don't learn from past mistakes. We continue to use suppression to solve a dialogue problem. Oh my god. This one here is a weird day. What's okay? This one here is a what's there to dialogue? This one here is saying uh, Nigerian police and soldiers are the major issues. So, seeing him in several photographs posing with MNK is he's a, a leader, a terrorist leader. Innocent people in Imo State will suffer for this. Meanwhile, Fulani are busy terrorizing Southeast. This one here is saying, I pity the South Southerners who allow themselves in the force to be used against their people. Why are you not hunting down Boko Haram and bandits like this? You just saying so. Okay, but let's just really look at this critically, actually. Don't forget that, yes, they may not have recorded too much success in the South, East, in a Boko Haram fight insurgent that's simply because several we keep hearing that the arms they give to them are old old stock they don't give them current ones and several also we have seen these gallant soldiers i won't, I won't just let's let's be real we have seen these gallant soldiers bring down some of these bandits okay so yes the corruption level is high but or like what somebody here is saying, he said dialogue would have solved it. Mazin Namdekanu has several denied that his hands are not in the issue of burning or police stations, that it is actually UGM. And the UGM here, they don't know anything about UGM. They are responsible for ESN, and ESN are always in the bush. Do you understand? But right now, the way this whole thing is going, I would have honestly pleaded that we we'll go through dialogue. Honestly, the country is so frail right now. Dialogue would have solved a lot of problems. Call the stakeholders. Ma Umai is trying. Governor David Umai is really trying. He has been trying to, he has been reaching out. Honestly, he has. I, I, I honestly hope that the youth will look into this whole issue of reaching out and see how they can do it. Because at the end of the day, the way this whole thing is going, South East will look like another North East. Well, well, that's just my personal opinion. I feel that at this rate, let the youths, the people in the Southeast, talk to their leaders. Let their leaders now find a way around this so that they can go through this in a dialogue manner. That's what we're going to wrap it up. Let's go to the comment section. Right there in social media, it is a gog. I just don't want to go through some of those comments. There are so much. Let's interact, please.